The 2019 WTA Shenzhen Open was held at Longong District Sports Center Gymnasium from December 29th to January 5th, gathering world-famous tennis players, including five-time Grand Slam singles champion Maria Sharapova, 2017 Roland Garros singles champion Jelena Ostapenko, and renowned French player Caroline Garcia, to compete for a grand prize of 750,000 US dollars. The city is beautiful, uh, Shenzhen is very lucky to actually host the first tournament of the year and the last, now with the WTA Finals, so it's a, it's a very nice feature to have uh, these huge events in, in the city. The event also saw the largest number of Chinese players in history. Wang Yafan entered the semi-finals, impressive Chinese teenage player Wang Xinyu went head-to-head -head with Sharapova, and three other Chinese players entered the double finals, granting the audience unending surprises. Wang Xinyu, the 17-year-old player from Shenzhen played aggressively against Sharapova during the first round match. However, Wang was forced to withdraw from their second round match due to cramping. Later, a warm scene appeared on the court. Sharapova consoled the young, talented Chinese athlete. I told her to take care of herself. If she plays like that, she's going to be number one, said Sharapova after the match. I love playing in front of my fans, I love the audience, I love how enthusiastic they are and, and especially as I am toward the end of my career, I like playing in, um, in places where fans can see me in very far away places in the world. About everything I, I can say it's, it's amazing, I mean China is probably number one right now for, for coaches. Everything, you know, uh, for, for us like uh, tennis coaches definitely the best conditions are here. Our future here is good. This country is now is the most popular for tennis. Now, be more and more. Uh, Shenzhen become a tennis city. Now, next 10 years, Shenzhen is the city where is a top 8 last tournament master. We are playing the Shenzhen. Outside the court, the tennis stars held an array of autograph sessions and met face to face with tennis fans. In order to see world famous tennis player Sharapova, Hundreds of fans queued up for several hours ahead of the autograph session. During the over 20 minute event, Sharapova gave her autograph to over 150 fans. There you go. All right. Can we take a photo? Sure. 今天那么早起来就没有白起，然后呃看到他这个人，我也希望他这一次来这个WTA深圳公开赛，可以好好加油，尽力，然后每一个拳，然后尽量能走进决赛。and I'm very much um, an open book in my travels and I share places I go to. I hope that one day they get to see them as well and maybe I can give them tips on whatever, whether it's a, a dish at a restaurant that they ate or um, all those things that I like to share things that I would find interesting for myself as well. I never have any expectation for myself, but the only one, okay, to be, to be focused on each, each goal and uh, just fight till the end. The final took place on the afternoon of January 5th, and world number 13 Arnia Sabalinka defeated American Allison Riske in 2 hours and 11 minutes to lift her third WTA Tour career title. It's nice city, it's nice people here and the organization here is always like on the, on the top level and uh, it's um, everyone here is so friendly and uh, I don't know I feel here like at home it's like I don't know why but uh, well China it's something special for me and uh, uh, hopefully every visit to China will be successful for me and uh, well yeah I'm yeah I like to be here.